Ooh. Is that Nami? Is that Nami? She's having a little bit of sausage, a little bit of cucumber, a little bit of strawberry. It's a good. And what you got, big guy? Egg, potato sausage, sausage, cucumber, strawberry. Is it good? Mmm, it's good. All right. Say good morning, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Okay, many hours later. I done breakfast and then was gonna get them cleaned up and hop back on here, but they both went to sleep for three hours. And any parents out there know, I ain't disturbing the house nor my children while they take a nap. Especially this early. They were both up by one o'clock. They'll be ready for bed by 8.39 tonight, like score. But anywho, I wanted to show you guys what I'm fixing to put in the slow cooker for dinner. Big old roast. I just put some salt, pepper, and a little tiny bit of that on there. I'm getting ready to sear it after I wipe this out and put fresh butter back in there. I got distracted, mom wife. But I'm gonna throw in potatoes, carrots, celery, green onion, and of course, Sean has to have his mushrooms, always. I've already got um, some brown gravy and water in here. Definitely got to add more. Let me get this wiped out and then we're gonna sear both sides of this meat and get it in the crock pot. I had the kids, both of them was whining, didn't want what I gave them, so I had to swap them out. And I just went ahead and finished. I've got the meat, I seared it, put it in here with brown gravy, extra water, a um, little bit of butter, green onion, potatoes, carrots, and celery and mushroom. But anyways, UPS dropped something off at the door. I'm gonna run out here real fast and see what that was. And then I will be back. Well, Mama's going to go ahead and guess she's probably going to hear it for opening this one. Who is that? Well, is that Mama? Bubba? Sissy? Bubba? Mama? Where's Daddy? Daddy. Daddy. Oh, do you love it? Okay, be very careful. I'm probably going to hear it for this. <laughs> this was... Um, I'm assuming my Christmas present and I opened it because the box literally has nothing on it except one little tag that uh, says ship to Sean Hammonds and our address and so that was it so I had no clue what it was I am in love though it's a canvas print it is absolutely gorgeous it's so beautiful. Look at my babies. Look. Look at that smile. Ooh, you guys. The leaves. I mean, this looks 100% like the picture. Honey, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Sorry, not sorry, because there was no clues on this box, as you can tell. I didn't know what it was. But anyways, I'm obsessed. This is gorgeous. I'm so happy. We wanted you know, a big picture to hang there. And that's perfect. I love it. I think, Pug, what do you think? What do you think, old man? Huh? What do you think, old man? I watch pumpkins. She's like, you can't pet him without petting me. Mm. Do you love this? Yeah. I don't know if I showed you guys though. Bubba, his room's a disaster because he's been playing like a wild man, ain't ya? Been playing like a wild man. You guys have done seen his comforter. Oh my God, where's the little elephant somebody made and sent? Bubba, what'd you do with your little elephant? Where is it? But anyways, he's got elephant on his toy box. He's got elephants on his bedspreads. They had the curtains for this. And I was kind of thinking they'll be a little overpowering anyways, but they were out of stock. So I couldn't get them anyhow. So I got these. They ombre from navy blue all the way down to gray almost white at the bottom and they're um they block the sun too for the summertime but i mean i love them they fit perfect and got his little man cave sign for his door mama also has him four little canvas prints with one two threes abc's astronauts that's going to go above his bed there 
and we're gonna talk them over every day. He said his room is a disaster. His um, table has become a climbing pen, a trick, mamas. If you got little ones, and they too little to make their beds. He, he really is too little to make his bed. So, super good trick. Put them one of their favorite comfy, warm, fluffy throws on the bed. Throw them on the pillow. Throw the blanket over them, and there you go. You ain't gotta make the bed. Ain't that right? What's it say? Can you feel me? Where is the lid to CC Cup? What? What? So I was sitting here thinking, I gotta get Chloe's room going too. I don't feel as rushed to do her room because, you know, she's 10 months old. She's in her crib beside of the bed. Colton still sleeps in the bed with us. So I'm not as in a bigger rush to do her room, but he's three. He loves to come in here and just get his toys and play and play at his table and his little racetrack he got for his birthday. And mama's setting him up a little mini bookshelf. Gonna have his books and blocks and stuff in it. You guys, this is real life is what it is he's sitting on my back hit me in the head with a cup i was sitting here thinking the color i want to paint his room and i was thinking okay i can do a pale gray a slate gray but then again like i think about colton having down syndrome i'm not much on super colorful rooms i don't like super colorful paint on the walls if it would stimulate him and be good for him i would do it because paint can always be covered up. So I was sitting here thinking, I might need to dive in and do some research on possible colors or color patterns or something that stimulate children with um, Down syndrome. Now, I don't know, there may not be any type of article or anything out there to help me with that. I mean, maybe they don't have an issue with that. It, maybe it doesn't help them, I don't know. When we lived in Florida, the room, his hearing test that he had to go have, they had a room set up for their kids with autism and Down syndrome, and it was so colorful. And so even for me, I was like, wow. Like it was, it was stimulating, I loved it. So that's something I'm gonna look into before I decide on painting his room. We're not gonna do that till spring anyway, so I got three months. I think, I think I'm gonna take my time, dive into that a little bit, and see if I can find anything and come up with anything. If not, then I may just go with the slate gray and just put him some really colorful posters, signs, pictures, whatever up in his room. Now, Chloe's room, I've already got it in my brain what I want to do for her room. She might not be as into the elephants as Colton was, but I found this a blush pink, pale gray, a white, and a pastel yellow comforter set. But to Chloe's room, the curtains are just the pale pink that come down into the white. They already have the curtains and the bedspread set and the little rug, the blush pink rug, to match. Yeah, what's your drink? Hey, oh boy, what you got in your mouth? Y'all, this child, I'm telling you, she's got hawk eyes. Yeah? What, oh, you wanna vlog now? You just want to eat your look at that. Hey, no. <laughs> uh, no, you can't eat it. <laughs> What's he doing? What? You guys, she has finally started cutting what? her two top teeth. They're through the skin. You can barely just feel them and barely see them, but they're there. Hey, got toothpaste coming in everywhere, huh? She has done pretty good for the teeth, and I have to say, Colton, he done pretty good too, but he would get severe diarrhea. That's almost how I knew he was cutting a tooth. Now, she did the first tooth that she cut. She had a little bit of diarrhea and a diaper rash. I don't know why they say that isn't a thing, because every parent I've ever talked to is like, yeah, every time my child cut a tooth, they got a little bit of fever, diarrhea, upset stomach. Like, I know a lot of people say that's not a thing, but in our case, it has been. If this roast don't come out to Sean's liking, you know, y'all know, you've been with us for a long, most of you. Sean's mostly the cook around here. I always do breakfast. He does not do breakfast. I do breakfast, but dinner, Sean's usually the cook. Sean likes to cook. He really does. His grandma taught him how to cook and he just loves to be in the kitchen and loves to gloat about his food. It is good, but you know, if this roast don't come out to his liking, and his flavor. And if he says anything at all, y'all gonna see it before he gets home. Cause I'm filming it now and saying it. If he says anything at all, you know what it's gonna be? You wanna know what it's gonna be? 
I didn't put enough beef gravy in it. Mark my words, if he has anything to say at all, that's what it's gonna be. We'll see, but I'm, I've been with him a long time. He's my husband, father of my children, my best friend. I know the man. I thought I was done for a minute, but I have to show you guys this. I love it. Look at this. He said, mum, mum. I said, what? And he pointed at his light. He wanted me to turn his light off. What's he doing? Are you playing your game? Yeah. Are you cooking? Nice, good job. Mama just had to show how awesome this is. I love you. Look at that tooth, my goodness. Look at it. <laughs> my tree has had the lick between the cat and the kids, Colton, mostly. Yeah, that tree has seen better days. I think next year they'll be big enough to understand. Chloe, she takes direction a little better than Colton. He's a little stubborn like his mama. A lot like his mama. She, I can tell her a couple times, no. Eh, eh, and she leaves it alone and goes on about her business. Bubba, he's still like, oh, huh? Me saying no, and he's like, you know, you know how it is. It's bananas. Why do you want bananas? Would you quit taking all the nanas off the counter? What is this big box? Uh, well, I don't know what was it. It had nothing on it, so I had no idea what it was when I opened it. What? So anyways, let me show you what we got in the mail today. Uh, it has something on it. Sean? <laughs> Listen. Listen. No, 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 no. You better be singing some Mariah Carey. Do not because... talk smack to me with bananas in your hand, homie. Uh... Yeah, you better be singing All I Want for Christmas is You, because you... that was your Christmas gift. You see that? That's me. Handle with care. Uh, dude, that was your Christmas present. So what? I'm 36. I'm, well, I'm, I'm, like I said, All I Want for Christmas is You. That better be coming out of your mouth the rest the of the month. It is gorgeous, and I love it. Thank you so very much. I've done this so sneaky. I got a prepaid credit card. It was supposed to went to the store, not here. Well, can I at least see it? Yes, you can. It's so nice. But it wasn't supposed to be. I seen. don't even care. Is that not gorgeous? Yes, it is. It is. That's gonna be so beautiful, Now it's not going there. It's going above. Well, no kidding. I love it. Well, Merry Christmas. Now, one of you guys sent us one. Uh, we've got some of Colton. Somebody sent a long time ago. And then one of you guys sent us one with Chloe and Colton. We got to figure out where to put those as well. Because now we have one of the kids and one of the whole family. So I'm not happy. I'm tickled pink. I'm happy with this, but... Y'all listen, me, when I was growing up, my dad, mom would always wrap his presents. He always snuck and found out and I inherited that and I'm not ashamed of it. I didn't know what it was and I opened it. Whoopie doo. Thank you. I love you. Go over and smell it roast. I can smell it. What's it smell like? Roast. Sean, I'm about to paint you just being with honest. this camera. It smells like roast. You got a smother lantern. Good, we need that. You said Colton took all your candle parts, so. Oh no, 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 I found them. You wanna know how I found them? I watched him. Look in here. There's all mama's candle tart. I was sneaky and I watched him. That's what he does with I want, I seen you go under there. I'm gonna leave them there because it's it's easier. Elise! <laughs> Elise! What did he get himself? Some kitchen towels? You gonna help mama do kitchen, kitchen work? Yeah, what's in this bag? What else? You don't. <laughs> are you not excited about your towels? No? Oh, well, those are mama's. Okay, what? I've never seen a flashlight that uses double A plus. Are those C? Uses three double A and three D's. Do we have that? Yeah, but that's weird. That is weird. I got it. Maybe one's for low and one's phone for high. On it. Really? Oh, that's why mm. it takes that many batteries. That is in case the power goes out because no doubt every winter we lose power once or twice. No doubt. We're in the head of the holler, so it's going to be dark back here. We like to have a couple extra lanterns in the house and stuff that we can have light to fully get around the whole house. We got propane, so oh, if yeah, the... 
if the uh, power goes out, we've got heat. I still use that anyway, because I like the warmth of that. Listen, I cannot be the only human being alive that just doesn't care for central air heat. No, I, propane heat's warmer for sure. Okay. To me, central air heat knocks the chill off, that's and the it. minute it cuts off, that's it. It's, it's cold again. I'd rather warm the house up real good with this right here. Yeah. We also invested in a big generator last year because we went without power for like four days when that bad storm through, come through a couple years ago, and we were like, yeah, it's time to invest in a generator, especially with kids. Yeah. So we can charge our phones, you know, if they want to watch a movie, we can use the electric skillet to cook on or the grill, whatever. Y'all, Colton's cat. This is her. Look how she does her little feet. This is what she does every time she eats. She immediately crashes on her back. And she loves her belly rub. Most uh, cats don't. She and pumpkins get ready to go get fixed. I gotta take Molly and Pumpkin, our baby pug. They are going to Pikeful for their appointment to both get spayed. I don't know what Colton's gonna do without his kitty for a night, because that's like his little best friend. But he'll, it'll be better for all of us in the long run, because if any of y'all had female cats that go in heat, it's terrible. Do you know what? I seen this black cat up here in the field today and I'm like, Raven, come on, come on, Kiki, come eat. Here she comes from the front of the house. Literally, it's her twin. As big as her and everything. I'm There's... still hard, bro. Would you quit pouting? It is what it is. It is what it is because of a Megan. I made you roast. <laughs> you was making roast, so that's not even. But I made it for you. That's not even a consolation prize because you was making roast prior to opening your Christmas Join. present. I love to be emotionally supporting life, but I'm about to peck you in the head with this camera if you don't quit talking about it. What do we got going on over here? Man, that ain't enough meat for a birdie. Oh, whatever. That juice is thin. It don't look like it was enough brown gravy. Are you kidding me? What I'm did looking, I tell y'all? Well, I can no. tell you use one pack Stop. instead of two. When you edit this video, you're going to see why I'm saying that. Well, I'm just telling you, I know. Y'all, that tells you what kind of cook I am, because I can tell when you use one pack of brown gravy or you can use two. It's one pack, ain't it? Okay. It's one pack, it's ain't one it? One pack, yes, it is. See, I called it. <laughs> oh. oh my God, <laughs> did you get that on camera? I got slimed. Good thing you guys are going in the tub after dinner, huh? <laughs> She's a cranky girl. Thank you, Moo Moo. So y'all may find this a little weird, but I, every time we eat dinner, I carry the computer chair in here and sit at it. What you're saying is we, we need four chairs. We do. Mm. Mm. You didn't even get none of that. It all dropped. I got it on video. The dog's down there eating it. What? Get you a bite bite. Oh, he's liking it. Why did you put that on the bottom of his plate? It's not. That's that's for a, like a roast. It's for a one pot meal. The other one's broke up for sections. Well, after that wonderful supper, I figured I'd show you guys the progress. We got quite a bit done, actually, from the last time you guys seen it. Of course, like I said, desk is going to be over here. This is all garbage. I got to take this out and burn it. Printer's going to be there. All my pre-treated shirts will land here. I still got to put these shower liners up over here, but I got all my shelving. Then I'm going to drape these shower curtains right here and then wrap them around and put one on the floor that way when i pre-treat the shirts i got a place that's just it's easy to clean up but these lights i bought are bright i'm gonna get a couple more of them though because i like it good and bright that end is still dark this light comes on but there's one bulb missing so i gotta get a bulb lord willing and the creek don't rise uh i'm gonna have all this up here probably saturday that's what i'm gunning for that way i can start off next week and be working from home that way the shirts that come out will literally be from the head of the holler so hillbilly's apparel will take on a whole nother meaning i'm so excited <laughs> you can do we not check look it first excited what am i checking can we check it to see how how maybe how much farther up it needs to go Let's yeah see how you can check it but i can tell you Here, it needs to go up this hammer that's crooked. You didn't even tell me it's crooked. Look how crooked it is. Sean, that's, that's we were looking to see if it needed to go up more. That's embarrassing. Are you helping Dad Eye Bubba? You gonna hang the picture? I know some of y'all might take me and Sean serious when we cut up with each other and tease each other and aggravate each other. 
Trust me, that is our relationship. That is how we get along. When Sean was ragging me about my dinner, when I was not feeling guilty for opening the Christmas, that's just how we are. That's our love language. So, you know, in case you're new-ish here and didn't know that, don't get offended because me and him don't get offended. Are you supervising? Because I think it's leaking. And then we'll... Just so somebody don't get pumped in the head with it. If you say too high. No, it's not too high at all. Straight. Um, it needs to come up just a touch on your side. A little bit more. Okay, a little bit back my way. Or this way. There you go. And from my view, that looks straight. I don't know. I'll find the level later. <laughs> I love cool. it. Now we need a shelf somewhere around there with them little figurines I bought you that time. Are you kidding me? One of us will be knocked in the head daily. <laughs> Until he stops well, doing this, that can't happen. Oops. Is that Bubba? No. Mama? Mom. Sissy? Who and, is it? And Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> now it actually feels like home because we had no pictures hanging up yet okay, at all. Don't mess with it. Leave it alone. Because the whole painting debate. So I told them that's why our living room in there is still a mess <laughs> because we need the bookshelves. We need to figure out where we're going to hang our pictures or are we going to wait and paint first? And I think we're going to work through one room at a time. Make one room real feel homey, homey. Yeah. And work our way through. Let the house speak to us. Yeah. And what we think. <laughs> Let the house, yes, the house speak to us. You get what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> once you live in a house for so long, you'll be like, okay, this will look good there. That'll look good there. Like, the lamp, I think at timeout corner, show them. I already have showed them this corner. Yeah, but you're talking about the lamp. So, Colton's kind of been acting up a little bit here lately. And Sean's talking about a timeout corner. Let's see about that. Would you get down here? <laughs> Now listen, he, he is going to have tunnel vision. Oh my goodness, they both went wild. Oh God, hell. He is going to have tunnel vision on this for a while. I know. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm pooped. I think we're going to call it a night, you guys. It's been a long, long day. day. A lot of stuff done today. I actually, like, once I showed you all the building up there, I ended up doing more to it. I got the pre-treatment booth ready. I got to go back up there tonight when everybody goes to bed, and I'm going to put up the last piece and the curtain door. Then I'm done for the night. All right, we love you guys, and until the next time, stay positive. Stay country. And stay true to your roots. Bye. Hi, girl. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.